for the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000 provides a systematic, comprehensive, and ecological waste management program to ensure the protection of public health and the environment. It also provides the required policy framework, institutional mechanisms, and mandate to the local government units to achieve 25% waste reduction target through establishing an integrated solid waste management plan based on the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. And if you violate RA9003 by improper trash disposal, Litterers and garbage dumpers are fined between 300 pesos to 1,000 pesos and above, as penalties laid out in RA 9003. An alternative penalty is community service of between 1 to 15 days. Government officials who fail to comply with and enforce rules and regulations promulgated relative to this act shall be charged administratively in accordance with RA 7160 and other existing laws, rules, and regulations. To ensure proper collection, segregation, and disposal of solid waste, materials recovery facilities were established in different barangays or community or village of the country to recover recyclable materials from municipal solid waste. But what if these MR apps are not accessible and available to LGUs? Hence, the solid waste in wheels. The solid waste of wheels features the brand new six-wheeler forward truck, which has the capacity to collect eight metric tons of garbage per day. a rapid compost tank, which will process biodegradable wastes. And a heavy-duty multi-purpose rotor, a perforizer machine, which will process different types of plastic, twigs, and residuals. It also includes a heavy-duty bottle and mass crusher. Solid waste and wheels also has its water can and pressurized motor washer, inoculant tank, and a silent type generator set. Segregation. Wastes shall be segregated into biodegradable waste. This includes green waste, food waste, paper waste, and biodegradable plastics and the likes. And non biodegradable wastes, which includes water bottles, tin cans, tires, and other items that cannot decay. Shredded. After segregating thoroughly, non biodegradable wastes are put into the heavy duty multi purpose shredder or pulverizer machine. The machine will produce pulverized glass bottles and pulverized plastics, which can be mixed for creating blocks and pavements. After mixing, it may be put on paving or hollow block machine, which can be used to build infrastructures. Organic fertilizers. Biodegradable wastes shall be placed into the rapid composting machine to make organic fertilizers in just 10 minutes. This can be either liquid fertilizer or soft fertilizer, which are vermin-free, pathogen-free with less garbage order compared to stench found in landfills. Now, why shift to solid waste and wheels? Environment friendly. Solid waste and wheels helps local government units comply with RE9003. 
and promote efficient solid waste management to ensure public health and care for the environment. Economical Solid waste and waste improves the efficiency of collection of garbage and other solid wastes within municipalities. Local government units will be able to save on the cost since the equipment is cheaper than paying for landfills and dump sites. Also, a truck can fit a machine capable of powdering non-biodegradable wastes and can dissolve biodegradable wastes in a very fast and efficient manner and is easily accessible to areas with no MRFs. Convenient. There is no need for local government units to create facilities such as material recovery facilities or MRFs, since the solid waste and wheels can visit barangays, even remote areas from time to time, to collect, segregate, and turn wastes into profitable materials and products. More livelihood and business opportunities. These organic fertilizers produced in solid waste and wheels can aid in making profitable changes in local farming. Since local government units can now produce organic fertilizers, it gives livelihood projects for the municipality. Organic fertilizers can be sold by bulk and earn revenues. This will also reduce the dependence of farmers to chemical fertilizers by encouraging them to produce their own organic fertilizers. On the other hand, byproducts such as pulverized glass and plastics are mixed and used to create pavements and interlocking bricks, land rocks, and help local government units to build sustainable infrastructures such as roads, waiting sheds, and buildings. This pulverized glass can also be sold to private companies which manufactures recycled bottles, jars, glasses, and glass fibers. Other materials that could not be processed by the machine, such as scrap metals, iron rods, and the like, may be brought to junk shops and can be sold for additional profit. As a result, more livelihood and job opportunities will be open to the public, and income generation capability of local government units will be strengthened. Waste is everywhere. It only requires a bit of creativity and hard work to create wealth out of it. As resources become scarcer and climate change remains a strong global challenge, we need to reduce waste and recycle more. So, when is the best time to start? The answer is now. Start your 